Hi guys, today I am standing in front of our half bathroom and if you watched the video back in, I think it was October, I shared that we were going to be remodeling this bathroom and it has been a long time coming. You'll see as this video goes on, we actually ran into a couple problems so I just kind of gave up on the bathroom for a little bit. But now it is finally finished and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So right now I'm going to insert a couple of clips of what the bathroom bathroom looked like pretty much when we moved in it was blue and it had a different vanity it was just pretty simple nothing was really wrong with it we already had the marble floors and we left those because I really really liked those but it was just pretty much a standard bathroom and I really just wanted to add my own taste and flair to it so when we remodeled the rest of this main floor we redid all of the trim and everything so we did end up taking off the trim in this half bathroom and um, putting in like a thicker trim. It was like a one by eight and redid the trim around the windows and we just painted it white for the time being because we really didn't know what we wanted to do with the bathroom yet. So this next clip that you're gonna see is kind of where we started after the bathroom was like painted white and I was considering doing wallpaper. I was looking at different paints. We had just got our new vanity in. So I'm gonna roll those clips now and hope you guys enjoy seeing the full transformation of this half bathroom. Today we are officially starting the bathroom. <laughs> I feel like I have changed my mind so many times, but the vanity is like kind of in, but it's not actually installed yet. So the first video that I did about this, I kind of gave you guys just kind of an idea of everything that I wanted to do for this bathroom. Originally, I had like a little picture from Pinterest. I'll insert so you guys can see it. it had like little strips of wood on the wall. That was getting too confusing for like placement of like where the mirror and the light was gonna go and it was just getting really confusing. So then I was like, oh, well, I'll do wallpaper. So I got these really cool like wallpaper samples and I was gonna go with this one then I started second guessing myself of course because that's what I always do and I thought this might end up actually looking quite busy once it's in like the whole entire bathroom because it is a small bathroom these are paint samples that I had gotten before so now what we're going to do is shiplap these are like really wide pieces of shiplap. I think they're like eight inches. So I liked the wider ones because I thought they looked just a little bit more modern. I think I'm still going to paint the bathroom black. I just think because my whole house is white, I'm gonna leave like the really bold trim white and stuff. But I think it'll really be a statement and I think it's gonna be really cool. This is my faucet that I got from Amazon. It looks exactly like a Delta one that I was originally going to order that was like $300. This one had amazing reviews and it was literally like a little under 50 bucks. Came with everything we needed. My mirror for this room just came in yesterday and it's brass. I was waiting weeks for that. And then this is my little towel holder, my little toilet paper holder, and those are both from West Elm. They were actually really, really well priced too. They are gonna get the shiplap done in this room today, and then we can start kind of going from there. Then we'll actually get this installed. We got the other one out. <laughs> okay, dogs. <laughs> we got the other one out. Got this one in. Then we can probably, yeah, really get moving on this thing. I just got home. This is the progress Joshua and my dad have made. Joshua's still going. He's outside cutting more pieces, but we are getting there. <laughs> the guys are really making a lot of progress today. Like a lot. They still have more to do like over here. Because we put this trim up, it makes it take a little bit longer because the cuts are just a little more difficult but not too bad so yeah i think it's looking good i love these wider planks i think they're really really cool oh how's, how's your gap there oh good i just got in a package of our new mirror for our bathroom. We're gonna see how it looks. 
Thank you. Thank you. And this is from Wayfair. Going up through. Doesn't look cracked. Here it is. It works. I can see myself. Do you like it? Yeah. Pretty cool. Today our lights have come for the bathroom and I actually ordered two lights just because I wasn't sure which size I wanted. One's just a little bit bigger than the other one and I felt like I visually just like had to see it. So I ordered them both from the Home Depot website so whichever one I don't end up wanting I can probably just take it back to the store but I thought I would show you guys both of them. This is the larger one. And this was actually a lot cheaper. There was one online that I wanted that was way more expensive. So they actually showed it like this or like this. And then it has these little globes in here. If you guys can see them. That go on top. And that kind of matches like all the other lights that we have done. We've done like a lot of globe lights. So I love it. The brass and the black. And then the smaller one just has two lights on it. It's literally the exact same thing, but it's just two lights instead of three, and it's just 18 inches instead of 22. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys this, but I feel like I'm kind of liking the three already, just looking at it. So I might just, just use this one. I want to give you guys a little update with the bathroom. We don't have any light in there. We just have that one right here. So we started painting today, and we're doing black tar by... Benjamin Moore and it's funny because once I saw the shiplap in here I was kind of thinking oh maybe we should just leave it white or do gray or something but Joshua has always wanted to paint a room black so the second I brought that up he was like well, yeah we have to paint it black he was completely set on it we started painting today and realized wow this is a huge pain in the butt I'll show you guys why so if you can see right here it's like i started doing all of the edges right here but then it's really really hard to get in all like the little creases of the shiplap joshua started going up here and he was like this is going to take forever next joshua just went to home depot because he's like let's just spray this room so he's just gonna rent a sprayer and in the meantime, while he's gone, I have to like put this plastic stuff over everything. So hopefully we don't make a huge mess with a sprayer. Neither of us have used one. So we will see how this goes. Joshua, it's going to be black. Joshua just <coughs> finished up spraying in there. Had my safety glasses on. Yep. <laughs> and how did you think it went? Pretty good. Yeah. Your first time using it? That kind, yeah, with the battery. So we used the sprayer instead of a hand. I'm gonna take this off so I can talk. So yeah, we used a sprayer instead of a hand doing it because we started hand doing it in them nooks and crannies. Whew. But the sprayer seemed to work pretty well. Right? Love it. Okay. What's going on? <laughs> Do you want to tell them what's going on? Well, don't let them see this. Oh, right. It's a surprise. I am uh, putting the second coat on. Yep. So. Do you want to tell them about your experience? It's brutal in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's dark. It's dark and dark plumes of paint everywhere. Can't really see. I come out like a coal miner. He really does. Like, he comes crawling out because he'll put, like, plastic all over the door. Covered comes in black. crawling out the bottom just to breathe for a second. I got this from He my... does have a face mask on, though, everybody, so yes. don't worry. Today is the day we're getting the vanity in. Oh, your tummy's rumbling. I haven't eaten lunch yet. <laughs> um, we're putting the mirror in, and then we're putting the light up. And I chose the three globe light instead of the two globe light. It just fit the room a little bit better. So basically at this point, it was right before Christmas and Joshua's whole family was coming over. We 
threw up the light, the mirror, everything, and just kind of left it for a while. And then we got really busy in December and everything. But basically what happened was spraying the walls was not a good idea. <laughs> We tried and it just failed for us because the paint still did not get in all of the cracks between all of the shiplap. So really after the first coat, the room looked pretty good except for the cracks were still white in certain areas. So that's why Joshua went back and did a second coat. But the second coat just made everything just drip and there were huge drip marks all over the wall. I felt really bad for Joshua. He did work really hard on it and it was hard work and stuff, but it just didn't end up working out. So if we were to go back and do this again, or if you guys are ever wanting to paint your shiplap a dark color, we highly suggest doing it before you put the shiplap up. We just didn't take the time to do that because we wanted to get the bathroom done really quick before Christmas when family was coming over and we thought we could paint it after and it just didn't work out. From there, I actually ended up sanding all of the walls down and repainted, took a tiny little paintbrush and went through all of the cracks. I worked a full week on it and now the bathroom is finally complete. I did have a couple clips of the footage of sanding and stuff and somehow they got deleted. So I don't have those clips anymore, but pretty much that's what happened. I just sanded everything down repainted and now the bathroom is finally finished. I feel like there's a couple things I would still do, but I'm gonna share it with you guys now. I hope you guys enjoy it, get some inspiration from it. I know a very dark black bathroom won't be for everybody, but we really like it. So come on in, I'm going to give you guys a little tour. So here is the finished bathroom finally. You can see we have all of our shiplap done. And it's all the way around the room. I love it. So, like I said, I re-sanded everything. There were huge drip marks coming down from the walls. It was kind of crazy. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I hope you guys can tell because there isn't a ton of light in this room because we literally just have this one window. But we had also thought about even painting the trim black too, but I'm glad that we didn't. I really liked keeping it white. So I'm gonna just kind of give you a little tour of everything. This is the vanity we ordered from Wayfair. It does come in several different sizes. So if you guys are looking for something like this, definitely check out Wayfair. And it was a really good price. Um, I think we had showed this, but the drawers, you just like tap them open. I like how like modern and thick and chunky the top is. I ended up, I showed this in a video recently. I got this little soap dispenser from Home Goods, and I love the way that looks in here. Just the clear acrylic. I will leave this link down below. This has been a great faucet so far. I think it comes in black too, but the brass, it was really a great price from Amazon, had good reviews. We've got our little spray over here. My best friend got me this spray, it smells so good. Um, and then this mirror here from Wayfair, it's so cool. I love that. I was debating between the brass or a black mirror. I feel like if we would have done like a gray room or a white room, I would have done a black mirror, but I really like the way the brass looks against the black. I still need to get a cute little black and white towel to put in the towel rack but that's from West Elm. Then this light here, I love from Home Depot. I was looking for lights like this for a while and some of them were like $250 and I don't remember the exact price, but I remember it being like a really good price and being really excited about the price. So I just love the way all that looks. This bathroom is small, so it's kind of hard to give you guys an entire overview of the whole thing. This little window treatment I found at Lowe's. It was like 80% off. What's nice is, hopefully you guys can tell that it's cordless. So you just pull it down and then push it up. Super easy. I'm not making it sound easy, but it is easy. Another thing I would like to do is change out the little handle on the toilet and get a brass one. But this little toilet paper holder, this is from West Elm too. I think I showed that in the video. And we actually ended up moving the toilet paper holder from this wall to over here. Um, I just think it looks nicer hidden when you're looking into the room. 
and you don't just see like toilet paper on the wall. You know, I think it just is a little classier having it hidden back here. So I like that. Um, and then one of my favorite parts of this bathroom is the art. Joshua and I just did this the other day and I love the way it turned out. These acrylic frames are just from Target. They have some similar at like Crate and Barrel in West Down, but these were really affordable from Target. And then we just did our own little watercolor paintings in there. He did one and I did one. He did that one. I did this one and it's just kind of our own little personalized touch in here. We had thought about doing floating shelves, but I feel like I've done a lot of floating shelves in my house and I felt like I just really didn't need more storage in this bathroom. It's just a half bathroom and there's storage in those drawers if I need it. We also left all of the trim white, which I like that, makes it pop. Um, and then I got this little plant stand. I think it was like 30% off at Target. I love that. I, th I think it looks good in here with my little plant. So that's why I gotta have the window open. So I can still get some light. But yeah, this is the finished product. I really, really like it. I love passing this bathroom and looking at it. I'm just really happy it's finally done. It ended up taking a lot longer than we thought. I just kind of got sick of working on it after all that had happened. But I'm finally glad we got it done and I love it. So. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section and I'll leave links down below for a lot of these items. That is the completed bathroom. Finally, if you guys watched the video back in October when we originally started this project, then I know that you guys have been waiting for a while and I apologize for keeping you waiting for so long, but I hope you really enjoyed seeing the finished product. And now we are gonna be spending a lot of time at home the next couple weeks. So we're planning on starting a couple more projects and I'm really excited about it. So I'll be sharing those with you guys the next couple of weeks. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss a video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you like kind of seeing these before and after videos or remodeling or updates that we're doing to our home. But I hope you guys are having a really great week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you really soon in my next video.